OP hid her child from her ex. With the help of her ex Mill. Four years ago, I dated a guy for two years. We were really in love, best friends, all of that. We broke up after a nasty fight my sophomore year of college that was fueled by our frustrations with being long distance. His mother detested me because her husband had died a few years ago, and he was her only son, and I guess she thought I wasn't good enough. She always made this very clear, and one of the issues my ex and I had was him not noticing or defending me. A couple of years ago, my ex came to our hometown, and all my old friends met up. We were mutually surprised to see each other, and it was very clearly an odd and tense situation. Everyone got drunk. My ex started talking to me. Then we were laughing. Then we started making out and having SX in our friend's guest room. Super drunk, no condom. I barely remembered when I woke up and just dipped out of there. A month later, I'm still pretty messed up because I still loved him, and that encounter made it worse, and I realize I'm late on my period, but hadn't noticed because I had been so distraught. I took a test and was so surprised when it was positive that I fainted. I knew we wouldn't work out as a couple, no matter how much I still loved him. I wanted the best for him, I wanted him to find a girl to be happy with, finish school, be successful he was really going places, and not have to move back home to be with his kid. I loved him so much, I just wanted the best. I couldn't bring myself to get an abortion. So after three months, when it really hit me that I probably wasn't going to lose it, I did what I thought was the best thing to do. I went to his mom. His mom was very wary of opening the door. I faked a smile all that time and tried to politely ask what I was doing there. I told her I was pregnant with her son's kid, and that we wanted the same thing for him. I told her I wouldn't get an abortion, but my ex didn't have to know. She was really quiet and asked why I was willing to do this. I said I couldn't tell him because I didn't want to get back in a relationship knowing he wasn't happy with his life, and I didn't want to F it up, so I told her I wanted to move away to Detroit, where some of my extended family was, and cut everyone except immediate family from back home off. I wanted to basically drop off the grid, delete everything, disappear, and raise my kid. So we made a deal. She would pay child support and rent she is very wealthy, and was very willing to keep this secret, and I would continue to go to school. I remember the last thing she told me was, Thank you for doing what's best for my son. I never knew you loved him this much. It really stinks to think about now. I went home and cried, then eventually broke the news to my parents about my plan. They were absolutely against it, so I promised to stay long enough for the birth, but I had to leave after. This was my life. I think part of the reason my dad allowed it was because I would be living off campus and they wouldn't have to pay rent, and it would be a lot less money for them. My mom only allowed it because she visited her family in Detroit often and she always thought my ex didn't treat me right, that wasn't quite true though. Flash forward, and I have left school. I'm at home, social media accounts have been deleted, and my number has changed. My mom keeps getting calls from my friends, and telling them I have decided to start life over the worst part, was hearing some of my close friends cry, even the guys, and I couldn't ever answer the door because sometimes my friends would try to see me. My parents always said I wasn't at home or had moved away. After the birth of my daughter, I stayed for a month, then moved to Detroit. I started working part-time, took classes online, and raised my kid alone. It sucked, but I made friends who didn't know me before, and life was okay. That leads to yesterday. At around 3 p.m., I got a knock on my door and saw six of my old friends, including my ex. I was supposed to have company over, so I had actual clothes on and the apartment clean, thank God. I tried shutting the door, but boy one stopped it, and they forced themselves in. Said girl one had been going to my parents' mailbox for weeks to try and find where I was mailing address. They found a letter I had sent my parents with pictures I had developed of my daughter, but they didn't open it, just used the address and came. I thought I was part of a cult or sick or something. Boy two mentions a rumor that I had a kid. Standing there and seeing my old best friends, the shock and knowing I was effed just unalived me, and I started tearing up. Cue my daughter waddling into view behind me. I wouldn't tell them who the father was but my ex had the strangest look, like he knew. They all sat down, and I brought them beers, and then played with my daughter. They all seem so young now, or maybe I feel old. My daughter went up to my ex at one point, and held her hands up to be held. She hugged his neck tightly, and wouldn't let go, then sat down facing him, and fell asleep against his chest. My ex looked at me, and I had to turn around. I thought I would lose it. Later, we all caught up. Ex became exactly what he wanted, so maybe this was worth it. I explained that I had wanted a new life for me and her, and I missed them all so much. It was late, so I had to carry her to her crib to sleep. While he and I were in there, he finally asked if she was his. I burst into tears, and he knew. 
He was so angry, and I tried my best to explain, but obviously it wasn't enough. I told him I thought it was best for him, and his mom agreed, and he started crying. I think from his yells, the others knew too. They all slept over, and are still here. My ex wants to work something out. I still love him, but I won't get back with him just so he can see his daughter. I told him he can visit whenever he wants, but he wants me to move to his school's area. I don't know what to do, and I'm sorry. I thought I was making the right choice, and it was selfless, but now I don't know. Any advice would be helpful. Edit. My ex and I had a scare early in our relationship, and he acted poorly. Kept asking me to abort it etc. He was immature then, and part of the reason we broke up was because it always felt like he wasn't growing up. I didn't stay in a relationship with him, or get back into one with him after finding out, because it would just be him angry at me all the time for something I didn't do and bitterness towards me for ruining his life. That being said, he seems really different now. I think he might still be in love with me, and I am still in love with him, especially after seeing him with my daughter. However, I won't get back into a relationship with him, if our daughter is the only reason we are together. And I know he doesn't truly want to be with me for me. I know it's still messed up, but I don't think he would have been able to become successful or grow up if he had known. Not saying what I did was right, just that that was my reasoning. Thank you. Edit. Wow, thank you so much for the gold. I don't deserve it, but I appreciate it, and all the support, advice and honesty, even if it was hard to read. Thank you everyone. Relevant comments. In addition to what everyone else is saying go with the flow, get legal advice etc. I say do whatever it takes to find your closure. It sounds like you found a solution that worked for everyone else except you. Except it turned out not to really work, because your friends lost you in the process, and judging by what they were willing to go through to find you. You have really caring friends who take the time out to spend quality time with you. Ultimately, you sound like someone who puts others before themselves, and you found friends who do the same for you. And that's awesome, even at the cost of your own happiness. It's up to you. But if you do consider the following, take them as possible perspectives and guidelines to help you. So the hardest question to answer is, what do you want to do? And I don't mean what's best for your ex, your friends, or your kid. I don't even mean what's best for you. I mean, what do you want to do? I feel like you may be looking at what's best and what you want as separate things when they can actually be linked. If you could say, to hell with the rules and what makes others happy, what would you want out of this situation and why? I believe that if you're happy with nothing holding you back, you can truly spread and share that happiness, and it will affect others positively, if at least subtly. And considering the kind of person you are, you'll find solutions that will definitely be in others' best interests without compromising yourself. To answer this, you may want to figure out what it is you need to actually be happy, which means directly defining what the things are that make you sad and regretful. I'm not talking about materialistic things either, but I'm sure you figured that out. What exactly is hindering you from reaching that happiness? Even if it's a small problem that you can settle for or compromise with, lay it bare and be clear that it is a problem affecting your true happiness. You can rank their priorities later. Once that's all listed out, then it's a good time to discuss how to go about everything with your friends and your ex. Try to focus on finding solutions that you are satisfied with. Do not settle though, unless it meets your threshold of satisfaction. Anything where no agreement can come about, save it for later. Sometimes a new solution will present itself that's even better than a compromise. Give it a week and come back to it later. During that time though, check the legal custody stuff. When coming up with solutions, don't decide on them immediately. There are always additional problems that can arise that we don't foresee because they just didn't occur to us until later. Mark it as viable and keep in mind that maybe a better solution will pop up. These are just some things to consider. And remember, it's your choice. Whatever the case, I hope things work out in your favor. OP's reply. I really appreciate this comment. Thank you so much for the advice, the questions and everything. What do I want? The dream would be for me my daughter and her father to become a family. We would get back together and find some sort of working arrangement to live and be together. However, I don't think that's realistic. That's my love for her father getting in the way. Because if that did happen, there's a chance he wouldn't love me the same and end up divorcing me in the future or cheating. I guess I have to do some investigating into our relationship and see where things go. Regardless, I will work something out with her father, where he sees her as much as he wants. I wouldn't mind moving home after I finish school. Thank you for this. Have a nice night, please. First of all, holy SHT. I'm sorry you had to go through that. And I can see why you thought it was a good idea. But you robbed him of seeing his daughter grow up in that stage of his life. You went to a woman who you knew hated you, and not surprisingly, she did what she could to get you out of his life. You have some great friends.
don't cut them off again. They did everything they could to find you and all went to make sure you were okay. I'm not sure what you should do. Maybe move to where he is, but not get back together with him. Demand he moves there. This is just a lot, and I'm sorry. Also, no offense, but F your parents for allowing you to move to a city without them. You were so young. OP's reply. I know, and I'm so sorry, if I could go back and change things. He is doing really well now. And yes, I definitely won't cut my friends off again, now that it's out in the open. I will definitely have to keep discussing this with him. Thank you. My parents and I have always had an odd relationship. Thank you for the comment. Have a good one. Update. Two and a half weeks later. Update. Well, it's been about two and a half weeks since I wrote this post. My ex and my friends all left the day after. But my ex went back to his mom's place and had a talk with her. He apologized to me for not being the most supportive before and was still upset with me. However, he understood because he had seen how much he had grown. He was livid with his mom. And if she didn't have a stake in where my daughter and I currently live, he said he would cut her off immediately. I am done with cutting people off, so I wouldn't have let that happen regardless. I got to go home last week, and I met up with a bunch of people. I shed a lot of tears. I didn't expect that, and my friends threw me a surprise coming home party. It was very overwhelming, but mostly because I never knew I was so loved. My daughter seems so happy with her father, and I'm in love with their relationship. My ex and I went out to dinner a few days ago, just us two. And although we didn't call it a date, it kind of felt like the ones we would go on as kids. That same connection is there. My goodness, it's crazy. Like I breathe differently with him or something. He's so much more mature now. It's insane, and I feel different too. It's all been so refreshing. He even walked me to my parents' door at the end of the night and kissed me on my forehead for a moment before going to his car, which is exactly what he did on our first date as teenagers. I sent my stomach into flutters and everything. I'm not saying we will end up together as a couple, but it feels like that's a possibility. Even if we don't, he has been a fantastic father so far and definitely will be kept in my daughter's life no matter what. We've met up with his mom and my parents and talked everything through. I finished out my fall semester at school, and now I'm going to be spending a few months in my ex's city and weekends at home while I apply to other places closer to him. This was agreed upon because I feel it's only right for me to move closer to him after depriving him of the beginning of our daughter's life. Me, my ex, my parents, and his mother are splitting financials until I finish school. Everything is kind of unstable and feels weird right now. But at the same time, everything feels very right. Maybe it feels unsettled because I'm not used to being this content and happy. Like, I'm afraid something will go wrong. I don't know. Maybe I did make a mistake back then. But I can't bring myself to regret anything. Especially when my ex is so understanding. Which tells me he knows he wouldn't have been a positive person in my daughter's life before. I don't know. I think everything will be okay. Money is fine. School is continuing. My kid and her father are spending so much time together. I get to see old friends again, and my ex and I are reconnecting. I can't ask for anything else, and I'm so grateful. God is so good. I never deserved any of this, but I'll take it gladly. Finally, thank you for all your comments. I promise I read them all, but it was very hard to respond in a decent amount of time with everything going on. The advice helped more than you all know, and all the comments were taken into consideration. God bless you all and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.